so I had an absolutely amazing night last night. I came back buzzing. I met up with some school friends, some friends from my secondary school and one of them, Ruth Gibson, is a ceramic artist and she kindly hosted an evening where we made some products with clay. We made a cheese platter, a vase and a little warrior woman. Oh, it was just like a really amazing night. Anyway, my name's Ray. I'm 59 years old. I retired recently and as part of trying new things and going out of my comfort zone, I started this new, new little YouTube channel. If you've not been here before, this is a lifestyle channel um, and in today's video I share with you my evening last night, show you some of the things that we made. It's not an instruction video, it's just sharing some things that we did. So I hope you enjoy it. If it's not for you, please give it a pass and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. So I'm at my friend Ruth's house and we're doing some cheese platters. Cheese platters. Textured cheese platters. Textured cheese platters. Use plant. And here is a finished article. Look at those. They're absolutely beautiful. It's the second time I've been here. Ruth, say hello. Hi, hi. I'm going to link all Ruth's details below in the description and she's you know she does some beautiful work so the evening that we're at there's a little group of us a little group of friends and we've just had some nice um, nibbles and some wine and then she's showing us how to do these beautiful platters and then afterwards we're going to do our and we shall make some vases brilliant well. if you look behind you there's some samples I've just made and to show people how to do the textures into clay. Yeah, the beautiful. The making these will be cheese platters. Yeah, and one is interested in this, so I would like to have a go. I'll put Ruth's details you. below. Yes. And Got clay club at home, and I can do a I can do a morning workshop with lunch, or an afternoon workshop with cream tea and cakes, or we can do an evening session with prosecco and nibbles and a buffet. Fantastic. Thanks, Ruth. To make the cheese platter, Ruth gave us each um, some clay and you see here that we're smoothing it over. And then we picked sort of items that she showed us, at least from the garden, shells, little bits of bark, um, little stones, and we press them into the clay. This is my one here. Um, it was just really lovely and easy to do. And then we rolled the clay, well, we rolled over the leaves and items um, and then delicately took them away so that we were left with the imprint. So we all chose different designs. We just sort of did our best with what we fancied and they all came out really beautiful. So here's Di, she's got her little leaves and plants in and she's gently rolling it into the clay. I mean it was very easy to do and Ruth's a very good teacher, you know she's a very talented ceramic artist herself and she is sort of kind and gentle in her teaching style so she encourages you but it's not too overwhelming so there we go we're just sort of gently lifting the leaves from the clay I've muted in the background as I was filming my friends were talking and chatting it was just a really lovely evening so I've muted them and I'm talking over so that you would have an understanding of what we did and the second thing we did was to make a vase and I've just put a little insert there and there are some in the centre of the table. So again, um, Ruth rolled out the clay for us just for ease and we each had different sizes. And then we cut it with a ruler along the sides and the bottom. We were measuring it to work out 
the size of the base and Ruth had some different cutters. So we could make, we had the choice, we could make tall ones, small ones. Um, yeah, I chose to go with what the clay was, the size of the clay. So I made quite a big pot. So there she's sort of demonstrating how to do, you know, to use the cutter to make the base. So she's measuring, she's measuring the height of the part so that you get an idea of the height of the clay because obviously you can cut it to the size that you want. And again, we decorated those pieces with leaves or bark or stones. I made mine quite rough and natural. And here's Di again. She's she's demonstrating for us now. Um, she was using the ruler to cut along the bottom, so we had a, a straight edge. And I think Ruth is just about to, yeah, put hers together. And you had to score the edges, do a little bit of a crisscross along the edges and the bottom where the, there she is, she's scoring now. And then you put a little bit of slip, which is sort of clay with water to help it stick together. So she's scoring her bottom bit there. She advised us not to cut it out. So we used a cutter to roughly do the size that we thought it was going to be. But we didn't cut it out until we curled the vase or the clay around to make the vase and then placed it on the bottom so that if the shape changed or there was any movement, you know, we still had a bit of leeway there. She's putting the slip on here on the edges, which helps it to stick. I mean, she's such an expert, she makes it look easy. There we go. And then we press that together. She, she had some little tools and some brushes that, you know, we used to sort of push that seam together to make it stable. Yeah, it was such a lovely evening because, of course, we had a buffet, we had Prosecco, we had homemade, Katie's homemade pav pavlova, cheese and biscuits. Oh, and our friend, Nikki, who, again, she was at school with us and she was over from Australia and that was a bit of a surprise. So that was absolutely lovely. Nikki is just like how I remember her when she was 15 She's just got such a sense of humour. There we go. Ruth's finishing, helping us finish them off. So we sort of, you can see it's on the base there. And we cut around the excess, cut off the excess clay. A bit like, reminded me of working with pastry a little bit. She's just checking all around her. Most of us decided to leave, you could sort of even up the edges of the vase, but most of us decided to make the top bit, you know, really organic. This is my one here. So Ruth's just sort of checking that the bottom bit, the base, is securely fixed to the vase. And my pattern, as you can see, is really, really basic. I just sort of rubbed a little bit of bark on it so it's got the indentation of the bark. We don't want to overwork this. So one mm. so one way to get an overshape is quite good is actually using the, the, the shape of your palm. Oh, right. sort of... We're making the little warrior woman. So palms with palm size pieces of clay and we're tapping it and rolling it and to make the shape that we want. Just this one tool. But it's that rolling around again, not pressing up. flat, because that and won't work. So it's sort of on the head. And we added little boobies yeah, a little and a little so spiral middle, decoration on, on the top. Roll. It doesn't matter, it's come slightly off It was off a little bit tricky actually, it was the hardest thing mm -hmm. that we made, even though it looks quite simple. Same with that. 
Can't you can do the shape touch. really easily. And then um, I found it a little bit tricky, nice. no surprise. So here are some of our pieces ready for firing. There they all are, and they look lovely. And there's a group of us. So the things that we made will be fired in the kiln and they'll be ready, you know, in a short while. But I wanted to get this video out, so I'm going to show you ones that are very similar that I made earlier, i.e. the last time that I was at Ruth. So last night was the second time. So this was a cheese platter that I made last time. I mean, look at it, it's beautiful. I must admit, I don't use it as a cheese platter. I use it as decoration and it's on my windowsill. I just think the colours and patterns, I don't know whether you can see it. In you know, like I'm an amateur. That's just beautiful, isn't it? Um, this was a little vase that I made last time. I just really like the organic shape. And I just put little dry flowers in and... You know, it's, it just looks lovely, the colours. And a little warrior woman. There she is. It's just nice and handheld. I actually, she's. I put her on my bedside table and she's just a really nice shape to hold. So when I'm meditating or I just, you know, want to be grounded or think about things. I just like having something in my hand and she's just sort of the right shape. Ruth says we're to think about things that we're good at, what we're sort of a warrior woman in. I don't know what that is for me, although sometimes I use it as a bit of a gratitude thing, you know, the things that I'm grateful for in my life. But anyway, I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to make these things. If you're still here to the end, thanks very much for watching. It'd be really nice in the comments if you could write the sort of things that you've done that's maybe a bit different. What's, what sort of things do you do with your friends? Do you meet up with any of your school friends? Are you still friends with them? Um, have you ever done any ceramic creative work? Any work with clay? You know, please let me know in the comments. If you'd like to, please check out Ruth's website. I'll put the link in the description. She's a very talented ceramic artist and she does some beautiful work. And if you wanted to do what we did last night, Ruth does have these available. I mean, she's based in Shrewsbury in Shropshire. So if you're anywhere near that and wanted to give it a go, you know, please get in touch with her. Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Hopefully see you again in the next video. Bye.